Hello guys, welcome back to the HTML5 Crash Course, Lesson 2, and in this lesson we'll be going over HTML5 Syntax. First thing first guys, what do I actually mean by HTML5 Syntax? So a syntax of a language is actually is basically how to write in that specific language. Uh, and the way HTML5 is written is um, how I explained in the previous video and that is pretty much for the building blocks which are called elements and these building blocks of these elements are called tags and when these are put together you get a website uh, so to put it in a weird analogy uh, tags and elements can be likened to atoms and subatomic particles luckily for us uh, they're not related so in the next section guys I'm going to go I'm going to show you a bit of code so we're in our code editor here guys and for starters please don't worry about what any of this means we will be looking at getting set up with a code editor and explaining what these tags are and explaining uh, HTML layouts and structures in subsequent videos but we're only worrying about the structure of elements and tags in this in this video so an element is basically just a bit of content surrounded by HTML tags and tags tell the browser information about what's inside so let's just use the example of a heading uh, a h1 which is a type of heading um, and we'll put in here my website now what this does these tags is tell the browser that my website is a h1 or a heading and um, these two combined together is what you would call an element so elements can be nested inside each other and when nesting elements it's usually good to put elements on new lines and indented so we can use the example of a, a unordered list so it'll be ul hit enter and then go on to a new line and then type in li and then go into a new line here, li again. And you can see that uh, this is indented inside the ul. Another way some people might refer to this as child and parent elements. And how this works is that the indented elements, in this case the li's, are the child elements of the ul. Um, and of course the ul being the parent of the li's. So I just want to mention that putting nested elements on new lines and indented on, is not mandatory. It's just what you call good code practice. And the aim of good code practice is to make your code a lot easier to read and easy for others to understand so if I was just to put these all these tags into one line you can see it's just not really easy to read um, and not really easy to understand and this is especially important uh, if you're collaborating on large-scale projects you just want to make sure your code is easy to read and doing it this way makes it much easier to read so let's talk about tags a little bit more guys so as mentioned earlier tags are bits of code surrounding the content as you can see here in this h1 with my website now there are two types of tags and you've got the opening tag which is this one and the closing tag which is this one now the opening tag follows the basic pattern of open angle bracket tag name closed angle bracket and the closing tag is open angle bracket forward slash this is important because this indicates that it's a closing tag uh, followed by the tag name and closed angle bracket now there are tags which don't um, require a closing tag and these are what we call self-closing tags and all the they require is just attributes so an example of a self-closing tag would be an image tag so you can see here it's just got two attributes which I'll speak about in a moment but because you don't require content uh, you don't need to put any closing tag on this one now because the image tag has no closing tag it requires attributes to be useful if an element has both an opening and closing tag uh, it only the attributes only work if you put it in the opening tag so let's just give this an attribute of style and uh, actually we'll open this up in live server first so we can see what we're doing again don't worry about this we will uh, we'll go over live server in the next video now I've given this an attribute of style so what we could do because you can see the color here is black and that's the default color if we give this a color of red uh, the h1 should change to yeah, a red color so that's how this style attribute works it gives us um, power to style this um, the content inside this h1 now how an attribute is written is basically just you write the name of the attribute and then you equal sign and then quotation marks and you put the properties inside the quotation marks the quotation marks are really important uh, so don't forget them okay, I just wanted to conclude the video with a quick recap of what we learned in the lesson so um, we learned that the syntax is the way we write the language uh, the elements are bits of content which are wrapped around in tags uh, the two types of tags and opening and closing tags uh, tags can have attributes but only the opening tag can have an attribute uh, the closing tag you can't have any attributes so that's it for this video guys if you do like what you see please consider subscribing and uh, in the next video we'll be looking at getting set um, and starting our code editor so we can start writing some html